Hi, in this video I want to show you how to use the Harmonic Scanner indicator on the TradingView platform. So first we have to add it to the chart, open the indicators and search for Harmonic Scanner. I already added it to my favorite script so you can see the star, but you should be able to find it. So click this. And we have our first harmonic pattern identified. We can check some other stocks. As you can see, it's checking the last three high and low points. And if there is no harmonic pattern found, you will see this no formation label. We can also check some features. Nothing here. Forex. Also nothing here, but you can see there is a lot of high and low points grouped together. So in a moment I will show you how we can change the depth of a zigzag pattern. But let's also check the cryptocurrencies. Nothing on Bitcoin and a possible cipher on Ethereum. By the way, one important thing about harmonic patterns is that the fact that we have a cipher here doesn't mean that the price will definitely go up. So we always have to also check the resistance and support lines and maybe some other technical analysis tools. If you want to see what points are actually being checked, you can enable the zigzag pattern. So we say draw zigzag. Let's decrease the line size. And here you can see which are the high and low points that we are checking. As you can see for Forex, we actually have a lot of high and low points grouped together. So we can change the depth of a zigzag pattern to use let's say more global points. Let me show you what I mean. So we open the options and here we can change this value for example to 20. And now you can see we have only those points. So the correct depth of a zigzag pattern depends on what kind of instrument you are looking at. 10 might be okay for stocks, but I usually go with 20. Once we have a harmonic pattern, you will see this label showing you the name of the pattern. So here we have butterfly down and also the retracement values. So this XAB corresponds to the XAB leg of the harmonic pattern. So when, when we draw the harmonic pattern, you can see that XAB is around 0 0.78. Here is 7.55 because, well, my drawing is not perfect. Also ABC is 0 0.5 and here as well and so on. So let's remove this. If you want to limit the amount of information on this label, you can disable the retracement levels. So we open the options and we uncheck the show retracement levels. And now we only have the name of the pattern. But if we hover over this label, you will see the retracement values. So what other options do we have? Let's see. We have the depth of a zigzag pattern. As you saw, you can use it to change which points on the chart you want to check. Then there is error tolerance. So basically, this defines how far from the ideal retracement values your harmonic pattern can be. By default, I'm using 5%. So it means that if the perfect retracement value should be, let's say, 0 
I will accept anything that is between 0 0.47.5 and 0 0.52.5. 5 is a good value. If you want to be more strict, then maybe 3 is even better. And if you change it to some ridiculously high value, it will find something that is not even close to a harmonic pattern. So I suggest you stick with 5. Then you can enable or disable drawing the zigzag if you want to see which points are being checked. You can show or hide the retracement levels on the label. And you can show or hide the no formation label. I like to have it on to see that the script has finished executing. Then we have some cosmetic options, so we can change the size of the zigzag line. I like to use one because it's not very important to see it. And then the formation line. And the last three options can be used to define the colors of the labels. So if you don't like the default green and red, you can change it to something else. So here we have a down label that is by default red. You can change it to blue, let's say. So this is useful when you are colorblind and you want to use different colors. We also have the description of all the configuration options on our website, so we can check out the link below. And for scanning stocks, I have my watch list here, but I usually just pick up stocks with the highest market capitalization and I go one by one. Sometimes you won't be able to see the harmonic pattern right away, so you have to scroll a bit out to see the line. So that's how you can use the harmonic scanner on the TradingView platform. Check out other videos and articles that we have on our website to learn what harmonic patterns are good and what are bad, let's say, what other indicators we have, and how to include harmonic patterns as part of your technical analysis toolset.